Time to check the weather now. We'd like to have a repeat of today, maybe. Yes, we would. Yes, no, we no would. maybe about it. No, yes. no, maybe. Yes, for sure. <laughs> so yes. we, can, we can probably squeeze out one more good day. Then I think things are going to start to change by the time we get into Wednesday. So first we'll go outside. There's the picture. Let's talk the numbers to go along with the picture. Skies still look pretty good out there. Temperature comes in at 54 degrees. High temperature today was 62. So the average is 51. You were 11 degrees above the average. Here's my list of how I think things will be working out and what you should be expecting. There could be a few raindrops out there tonight. I think a lot of folks won't see anything, but there's a slight chance for a shower or two. It's still pretty nice out there tomorrow, partly sunny versus all the sunshine we had today. And we had more wind today. It's still breezy tomorrow, but not as windy as we were today, but a pretty good looking Tuesday. Then you get to Wednesday. As I said, things start to change. It's chillier on Wednesday. A late rain develops, and by early Thursday morning, there could be some soakers out there. Right now, uh, the radar picture is pretty quiet. You see a little dancing green back here. It's very light. Bigger picture will show you a lot of this, like around Buffalo, you've got real rain, that dark green, but it's kind of fading away as it encounters our dry air. But some may make their way through. So I'm putting in a little chance for a shower or two out there while you're sleeping. Bigger picture shows you a bigger storm. Here on the midsection of the country, uh, this is the severe weather portion right here. Now watch how this is going to intensify going into your day tomorrow. You put into motion. Computer model shows this prediction for tomorrow at 4.30 in the afternoon. Take a look at that. I, I often talk about a storm being vertically stacked, meaning it's not coming through on an angle like this. It's kind of more up and down. This is, I mean, that's vertical. Look at that. This is a real severe, severe storm system coming through the Tennessee Valley, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana tomorrow. I think we will be finding another outbreak of tornadoes again tomorrow. I hope I'm wrong, but I believe that's going to be part of the forecast. Then portions of that weaken, move into our area late Wednesday. About 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you're looking at some showers developing in the area. And notice it's going to be colder out there. Maybe some of our northern suburbs have a little bit of a sleep pellet flying around. Then you get to early Thursday morning. Here we are, 6 a.m. Now, this is the third model run. I'm showing you that's putting the heavier rain just offshore, although this is just clipping the south shore of Long Island at 6 a.m. I still think there's the possibility of it nudging just a little bit, 10 miles to the north, and we'd have, you know, some real disruptions for the morning commute out there. So please know that's a possibility Thursday morning. Here's your picture, 1 p.m. on Thursday, uh, not as intense in some spots. So 57 for your day tomorrow, partly sunny, breezy versus windy. You're 48 on Wednesday, all right? Significantly cooler on Wednesday. The rain develops later in the day, and then I think it could have it to start off your day on Thursday. There could be some soakers out there. So I have a cautionary alert for Thursday. If it continues to show a trend that it's going offshore, hey, I'll take the alert off altogether. Right now, we're just not certain of that, and I have to play it safe for you. 59 degrees on Friday for the weekend, 56 on Saturday, 48 Sunday. Sunday has a bit better chance for a shower out there. Seems right. like all the weekends we've been having recently have had shower chances. Showers, but just chances. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, guys. Lonnie, thank you. <laughs>